faculty working with Ask ITN since last three years. Now we are going to start the chapter Biomolecules. As the name suggests, it involves the study of those molecules or those chemical compounds which involve in biological system. We'll study about carbohydrates, protein, vitamin, enzymes and many more but we'll focus mainly on carbohydrate, amino acids that is proteins and uh, nucleic acids. So let's start with carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are compounds of carbon and hydrogen and they are basically the source of energy. Glucose, sucrose, fructose, these all are carbohydrates and these provide energy. So the basic function of carbohydrates is to provide energy. Let's start their study. Carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are actually those biomolecules which provide us energy. Whatever we eat is broken down into glucose and from that glucose we get energy which is used for our, by our body for biological processes. So uh, carbohydrates are chemically compounds of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen and they are sometimes also known as sugars or saccharides and their general formula can be represented by this formula C6 H2O whole Y. So let's write, uh, let's say if we have six carbon atoms, in that case the formula will become six C6, then H2O whole 6. If we simplify this, we get C6H12O6, which is actually the formula of glucose and also fructose. So this is the general formula of carbohydrates. Now next is classification of carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are classified on the basis of their structure as monosaccharides, oligosaccharides and polysaccharides. Monosaccharides actually the simplest form of carbohydrates and they cannot be broken down further into more simpler form and the, uh, the most famous uh, monosaccharides are glucose, fructose, galactose. Uh, Next is oligosaccharides. Oligosaccharides actually contain 2 to 10 monosaccharide units joined together. If they have uh, 2 monosaccharides units joined together, they will be known as disaccharides. If they have 3 monosaccharides units, they would be known as trisaccharides. If they have 4 monosaccharides units, they will be known as uh, tetrasaccharides. But uh, the most important uh, oligosaccharides are actually disaccharides and maltose, sucrose and lactose are the example of yes, uh, disaccharides. These all are formed by combination of two monosaccharides unit. We will discuss their structure in detail in coming slides. And these two monosaccharides and oligosaccharides mainly disaccharide. Monosaccharides and disaccharides are known as sugars they are also known as sugars because they have sweet taste as well as they are soluble in water and we know that sucrose is actually the general sugar which we used in our food it is cane sugar glucose is a sugar fructose is fruit sugar maltose is malt sugar lactose is milk sugar and sucrose, sucrose is cane sugar which we use polysaccharides are known as non sugar carbohydrates, non-sugar because they are not sweet in taste as well as they do not dissolve in water. They do not show the properties which generally monosaccharides and uh, disaccharides and oligosaccharides show and these include starch, cellulose and glycogen. Uh, 